that's as good of a time as you're gonna have. So, Orgless, despite that strong start, you're gonna put Crazy on the Ying this time. Yeti's gonna find one, pulls out the pistol. Yeti, the double, the two-piece with the pistol. Brian is there, and EG is getting locked out for the time being. But if there's an operator that is designed to clutch multiple people, oh. well, it's gonna be the Alda in the hands of NVK! Two monstrous kills as Brian and Yeti get hosed down. NVK almost gets taken out by a Claymore. Stops for just a second, and he will go back in, wading through what could be the trap set by the remaining attackers. He sees Unreal peek around the corner, cannot detach his head from his neck. Instead, oh! he'll do it to Acid. And the newest member and the coach will be the last one standing. Perfectly hidden behind that hookah sofa, trying to draw out the ash, just waiting for her to pop up and a dare, almost. He's making an awful lot of noise. He's got so many bullets left. Takes an opportunity to reload. He's gonna push on up. He might actually see the ash. Oh! NVK, the clutch! He comes out of nowhere! And Nathan Valenti King with a huge Early moment. A 5v3 in favor of Ninjas in Pajamas as they've opened up the wall. They can begin to start their assault. Of course, you've got Vogue holding on to that diffuser. Those ADSs will be in vain inside of the garage. Ace is flashed. He's got the LMG played up, and you'll just see all the utility from PZD will be dumped in. But Aces gets one. Psycho is aware that there's one playing on stairs. Julia will take out Neo Fighter. Plant going down somewhat successfully, but no, Aces sees him. Ace is coming in. Can he get it? Two big kills from Aces. He sees another. A third. Aces. Oh my goodness. In a 1v1. Ew. He's still got the diffuser to work through. Julia will now watch. And who's going to prevail in this fight? A Sledge versus the Maestro. Any intel from Fnatic right now could possibly be going. But look at this, one frag grenade remaining from Julio, and he's priming it on the diffuser. He'll toss it out and aces. Will he live? He'll get off the plant. The Maestro will shoot away at the walls, but this is a bad oh, decision oh, for aces. Oh my god, how does this happen? Well, and Shuttle have taken some damage and is scared easily off with that evil eye. So Redeemer trying to use his evil eye cams as much as possible. A double kill for Rogue is super and Shuttle will pick one up and Shuttle will pick up his second kill in Space Station Gaming, finding themselves in dire straits. Plant going down and Redeemer will go for two big kills for Redeemer three. Oh my goodness, puts himself at a 1v1 against Shuttle. Diffuser needs to go down and Redeemer with the clutch. My my, what a play from Redeemer. Redeem the dream. How many times have we seen him take over Five games? To the uh, security room. Foxy will just come on in and just not Hello. care about anyone. He can come in and breach. Well, hammer breach. Oh, there. no. Oh, spot Necrox on the oh, side. No. Foxy almost choking in this one here. Jumps on up, gets the kills. Laxing will get one more. Bit of an awkward engagement, but Young comes in. Sprays to one, sprays to second Young with the 2K, leaving himself alive against Goddess on the Habana. Does she know that he's watching behind the garage? And she take the hit from below, but there's 18 seconds left on the clock. He moves back up. They have to deal with the Maestro, but he's such a thorn in their side. 12 seconds left on the clock, and Young is just not moving, but he jumps on up, gets the kill on Laxing. Goddess needs to get this plant down, but his spray, Young will take her out on the floor. And there you go, Goddess on the floor. Gets cleaned up. Young, what a beautiful clutch on the Maestro, showing everybody. Is applied. He knows he doesn't need to linger and can simply go back to the site to deny the plant and play the objective. So good. He's able to burn about 40 seconds off there. Redeemer will find his target on a Breezy. And yet he very low on HP, but thinking it will require a pickup after being downed. So absorb a ton of damage. Redeemer picks up a second kill. Crazy! Oh, Redeemer's all over the place as Yeti can't push up. And he's still got his sights trained, waiting for Acid and Heavy. Rampy on the flank, though, as Redeemer will find his fourth. All but one. Waiting to see what Heavy is going to be able to accomplish. Will there be a courtesy here as Redeemer vaults in? And Ace Redeemer will claim every single one. That Maestro, boy, great maneuverability and a parkour flank to get the final kill needed for every single one. Most of this round is going to come down to where Vito puts his gas canisters, if he has any, and how on point secretly is right this minute. Here come the shots from the Alda, and some do land, but not enough to get the kill. There you go. Scyther goes down in the doorway. Limited ammunition now. You're getting oh, to the end of your stick, but you've managed to get two with the first magazine. Vito is going to not get the third. It'll be secretly from the blue bar, landing his shots in the pivotal position that he was. And Chaos will take four rounds out of this first Blowing. half. Slow creep up, doesn't give the game away with the drone. Might catch somebody, but gets caught themselves. Aces finds Rask. 
and now they can try and apply some, but with only 19 seconds left, and still a couple of big guns left in the hands of the defenders, it's not gonna be the easiest throw. Corey is gonna try and stick it, the pops come out, and the pings, and there's some zaps to try and drop it. Full health is able to get it dropped in time, but there's Bash up on the back stairs, finds one, gets downed in the process. It's a two versus one post plant. It's a side by side, and there's no man's land in the middle. With the HP here, Fluke, as the first heads get popped off, that means he could potentially go for a defuse now, because Jek is still with the hammer from above, might be able to find the right angle, he gets taken down, and that means the mission will be able to get the clutch done. Where are you? You're above? Can you do anything, Slash? Yes, you can! Take Foxe out, it's Laxing versus Slash. Diffuser's still down, this is going to be very challenging for Laxing to be able to take Slash out from above. He withstood and was able to get back up top. He'll wait for the time being. Laxing can't get there just yet. Slash biding his time, waiting for the call. If there's a drone on it, or at least if he can hear it. Laxing is above. Bailiff out! He'll get it! Does he have time, though? He's got a quarter of the way left. Laxing's a three armor, but it's gonna come down to the wire. He's got plenty of time, and Reciprocity should have no problem at all going up 3 nothing. An evil eye going to be a massive factor here for Hot and Cold if he can play this correctly. He cannot vault this, so he'll prep it, but that'll give away his rotation and his intentions. It doesn't seem that 9XT has noticed this, though. It doesn't seem like there's a camera, and there's a nice kill for Hot and Cold. He only needs two more, and they're both still very low. He can deny the plant with the evil eye and just keep himself alive. 19 bullets, so he's got to be careful with that ammunition counter. And here's the denial! Will he land the shot? Oh, 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 and cold. Incredible. In just a moment or two. They've got a couple bodies right now looking towards that whole open area. Wog will hit the deck. As you can hear, the Alta does a ton of damage to that wall. But Wog is so far managing to evade all of the shots. And BC has a lot of destruction capabilities. But no, that's Necrox. BC, what are you doing? Oh my, that's going in the digest. BC gets a team kill and no outlines on whatsoever. And Necrox in rough shape, but BC is there to get one. Can he see the other? Hibana still pinned down. He doesn't need to reload. He's got 40 some odd bullets still left. He'll hit Wog just once. And there you go, BC. Even with a team kill, it's a triple for BC. He'll save the round. Poor Necrox, but oh my, it works out three in a row for EG. Canadian goes for a run out, and Hyena knows it's coming, and he's prepared. And ready and waiting, but NVK He took some damage for it at the same time still. Uh, and he'll get a double. There you go. All right, two for NVK. Gotcha gets down, though, by a nade from Doodle, and he'll be finished off. Well, actually, not finished off just yet. NVK with three and four for NVK. He wants the ace. He's just been playing and studying and absolutely destroying Luminosity. It's not too late for the buck. And no, he's not even going to try. This is going to be an ace for NVK. Five in the round. Beautiful maestro play, and evil geniuses are looking absolutely indomitable.